So agroecology is based on 13 principles. And these principles uh, tell us how we can farm in harmony with nature uh, in a way that is equitable amongst different stakeholders in agriculture and food systems, connecting producers and consumers, producing food that's healthy to eat, uh, and diverse diets, um, and doing so in a way that doesn't damage the planet. And that's uh, really important because we're facing global challenges that really interact with each other. Degradation of land and water resources, broken food systems, hunger and obesity on, on, on uh, both happening at the same time, uh, huge biodiversity loss and climate change. But these things, because they all interact, we need systemic solutions that solve all of them at the same time. And agroecology offers us the opportunity to do that. And so it's incredibly important right at this moment, and it represents a real transformation of agriculture and food systems. Well, it's very exciting because Vietnam is in many ways uh, a leading light in uh, the region in relation to uh, agroecology. Uh, Dao Te An from the um, uh, Vietnamese Academy of Agricultural Sciences is the focal point for Vietnam in the Agroecology Coalition. And that's uh, a, a coalition of over 40 countries, including three regional bodies, the European Union, the African Union, and ECOWAS, that are coming together uh, as a coalition of willing countries trying to make agroecological transitions. Now, there are a lot of challenges uh, to this in Vietnam, including uh, food security and needing to maintain uh, productivity levels. Um, I was actually talking to the Minister of Agriculture uh, here in Vietnam um, uh, a few weeks ago and uh, uh, pointing out how we can have diversity and productivity going hand in hand. And there's a lot of data that now shows with mixed cropping and the inclusion of legumes, we can get high productivity with diversified systems that are much uh, more in harmony with nature and therefore are not um, leading to overshooting planetary boundaries. So I think there's a real opportunity uh, in Vietnam and a lot of interesting research and a lot of interesting practice, whether it's in integrated coffee, fruit tree, pepper systems in the central highlands or um, um, the agroforestry with fruit trees on contours on sloping land in, 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 in northwest Vietnam, where farmers are really beginning to innovate and take up agroecology solutions, and it's making a difference to their farm incomes, and it's making a difference to the environment. And if we can get both of those things right, then there's a real future for agroecology in Vietnam.